Since you mentioned uh, UAPs, uh, uh, we talked about intelligence, and I forgot to ask: what, What's your view on the other possible intelligences that are out there at the right. uh, the meso scale? <laughs> Do you think there's other intelligent alien civilizations? Is that useful to think about? How often do you think about it? I think it's I think it's useful to think about. It's useful to think about because we gotta ensure we're anti-fragile and we're, you know, trying to increase our capabilities as fast as possible because we could get disrupted. Like there's no laws of physics against there uh being life elsewhere that could evolve and become an advanced civilization and and eventually come to us. Mm -hmm. uh, do I think they're here now? I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I've 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 read what most people have read on the the topic. Um, I think it's interesting to consider, and to me, it's a useful thought experiment to instill a sense of urgency in developing technologies and increasing our capabilities to make sure we don't get disrupted. Right? Whether it's a form of, of AI that disrupts us or a foreign intelligence from a different planet, like either way, like increasing our capabilities and becoming formid formidable as humans, um, I think that's that's really important so that we're robust against whatever the universe throws at us. But to me, it's also an, interest, an interesting challenge and thought experiment on how to perceive intelligence. This has to do with quantum mechanical systems, this has to do with with any kind of system that's not like humans. Hmm. So to me, the thought experiment is, say the aliens are here or they are directly observable, we're just too blind, too self-centered, um, don't have the right sensors, hmm. or don't have the right processing of the sensor data to see the obvious intelligence that's all around us. Well, that's why we work on quantum sensors, right? They can sense gravity. Yeah, gra but there could be, so that's a good one, but there could be other stuff that's not even the, in the uh, currently known forces of physics. Right. There could be some other stuff. And the most entertaining thought experiment to me is that it's other stuff that's obvious. It's not like we don't, we lack the sensors, it's all around us. Mm. You know, you know the the consciousness being one possible one, but there could be stuff that's just like obviously there. That once mm. you know it, it's like, oh right, right. That's that's that the thing we thought is somehow emergent from the laws of physics. We understand them. Mm. It's actually a fundamental part of the universe and can be incorporated in physics. Most understood. Statistically speaking, right? If we observe some sort of alien life, it would most likely be some sort of virally self-replicating von Neumann-like probe system, right? And and it's possible that there, you know, there are such systems that, I don't know what they're doing at the bottom of the ocean, allegedly, but maybe they're, you know, collecting minerals uh, from the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Um, but that wouldn't viol violate any of my priors, but uh, am I certain that these systems are here and it, it'd be difficult for me to say so, right? I only have secondhand information about there being data. About right? the bottom of the ocean? <laughs> yeah, but you know, could it be things like memes? Could it be thoughts and ideas? Hmm. Could they be operating at that medium? Could aliens be the very thoughts that come into my head? Like, what do you, have you, Hmm. How do you know that? The, how do you know that that? What's the origin of ideas in your mind? When an idea comes to your head, show me where it originates. I mean, frankly, <laughs> uh, when I had the idea for the type of computer I'm building now, I think it was eight years ago. Now, it really felt like it was being beamed from space. It, it, it just, I was in bed, just shaking, just thinking it through, and I don't know. Uh, but do I believe that legitimately? I don't think so. I, but. It, you know, I I think that um, alien life could take many forms, and I think the notion of intelligence and the notion of life needs to be expanded uh, much more broadly uh, to be less anthropocentric or biocentric. 